Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about why I don't trust Wizards of the Coast. I trust literally no one on their staff. And the reason is they say something and then they take back their word. I'm going to go over some recent events. It's not like these are ages old. These events all happen within nine months of each other. We had this interesting rotation that was supposed to make standard better because the rotation would be faster, the cards would be cheaper, everyone would be happy. Then in the middle of that, they decided to give up, which created this very messy format with multiple bannings. After these bannings, they apologized and said, no, we're, not going, we're going to try to not ban cards as many cards anymore. Then they recently banned some cards. Now, back in the olden days, if they banned your card, you would be able to submit the card for a free booster pack with shipping. They would ship it to you with no cost. Now that is, there's no consequence for their actions. They get away with so much because they know that you're going to continue to buy their product. And it is kind of like, it is very similar to, let's say, a company that has a monopoly on something maybe Channel Fireball. In the beginning, they're going to act and behave like they did in the past. Then eventually, they're going to be caught, quote, cost savings. And those cost savings could be a worse turnout. It could be higher. It could be worse vendors. It could be worse uh, prize wall, uh, worse supplies. You're, maybe instead of giving you a play mat now, they give you a, a pencil a pen and a scorecard with their logo on it. I've always felt that was kind of strange that, and this applies to YouTubers as well, why would like anyone want a playmat of another person or a company brand? Like, right, like I get Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and that makes sense to me, but the logo is relatively small, right? And you're buying the clothing for the, af quote, improved athletic performance. You wouldn't, just wear a giant logo, right? I mean, we're magic players. We're not like fashion, right? I don't know. I don't know that much about fashion and logos and stuff. Regardless, it's always felt kind of strange to me that one of the perks is you get a pen with logoing and you get a pen, a pad with logoing. I can't give out enough Google pens and pads. I have literally a half a garage full. I'm not kidding you. You can ask Sophie. We literally have boxes of half and no one wants them. No one wants the Google water bottles. You know what they want? They want the hoodies. They want the, the iPad pens. The really, there's one pen that's kind of special and you know that pen because the Apple pen is a hundred bucks. Well, we have like a version of it, but it's not as good. I mean, it doesn't feel as good. It's not as heavy and it actually doesn't operate. Anyway, my point is I always felt kind of strange where like my company, for instance, I can't give out our free pens. I can't give out our pamphlets. And if we don't have notepads, but we have notebooks or post-it notes, I can't even give out enough of that. And that's like with Google in the name as well. So who, who wants this? Like $84.99 for the GP Houston event and you get a pen and a pencil from this channel Bible. I mean, great, awesome. Exactly what I wanted to sponsor to promote your company some more when I'm playing at my FNM. Uh, regardless, they flip flop on every single thing they do except for one. And the one thing is the reserve list, right? They haven't really uh, commented or they closed the loop when they could have opened the loop. And that was a decision that they made. Um, that was not a, like a random thing that happened. It was a decision they clearly made they closed a loop of a loophole that they didn't need to close. And I can tell you there are many premium cards out there of these reserve list cards, I, Memory Jar being one of them. Memory Jar was banned. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Memory Jar is also on the reserve list. There's a foil copy, a premium copy of that card. So there are cards on a reserve list that have been reprinted. That is fact. So anyway, ooh, text message. Let's see what text message says. Okay. And FNM promos is just another, it's just something that is so obvious they would go back to. 
That was such a bad concept. FNM numbers were probably down. And now they're back to exciting, new exciting FNM promos where we take a five cent on common and we make it 15 cents. The concept of casual players being drawn on a Friday night magic. The concept that was very poorly executed. I don't know who logically made that decision, but it was not a good decision to start with. They wanted casual players to go to give up their Fridays to play magic to win promo tokens. Somehow they felt that these promo tokens would draw the casual crowd. It didn't do that. I will be frankly honest with you. There are so many better things you can do Friday night than play magic. And the casual crowd cares far less about magic than, you know, let's say the FNM grinder. The one thing Magic has going for it is they have a community. Um, it's a community of people who are very different. My favorite community isn't in Houston or Humble or even New York City. It's one I went when I went to law school, and it's unfortunately RIP Groovy Gecko, Phoenix Games, Phoenix Games Reborn. I mean, the place bankrupt like eight times when I was there. I was only there for three years. It changed ownership five times and then bankrupt like another eight, like... <laughs> My point is, that was a great community. That was really fun. I enjoyed having a place to go, having, you know, just relax. No one knows you. You're having a lot of fun. And I enjoyed the people because it's, I, I love people watching. I love interacting with all types of people. Um, even in my company, which I hire all types of people. I hire people without education. Our last three hires have not gone to college. And I like it because unless you go out there, it's the same way I always tell these people um, that as soon as we're done selling the company, you should travel. You should take, you save some money, save 10% of your money and travel. Many of these people I employ have never traveled. They have never left Houston. Not even, they've never left Texas. They haven't even taken an airplane ever. I was fortunate enough that I was able to go everywhere. Um, my family is obviously in China. And so I travel to China, and sometimes I'll make a layover for a week in Japan. Sometimes I go to Korea, South, obviously South Korea. And Malaysia is pretty fun. Uh, in NYU, I went to Ghana in Africa, lots of vaccines, and I was the most eye-opening experience of my life. Like, unless you go to like a, a place that's so different, you don't know how people, other people live. So we went to Accra, Ghana to help with a school and, you know, the typical NYU hippie, right, thing that we were doing, but I loved it. I thought it was just incredible. Anyway, my point being the community in FNM or the community in Friday Night Magic is very strong and to disband that and then to try to create a casual community is very offensive to me. The only people who are willing to give their Friday night Friday nights up are people who think that, oh, okay, this is going to be a nice, you know, my work week is really hard. It's going to be nice to see everyone again. It's going to be nice to talk to everyone and hang out and catch up. That's why I go. I don't go to win a promo, like a $2 promo at best, right? Maybe Pat Fatal Push was a little different, but like that's once, uh, once every quarter. I don't go for any of that. I don't go for expected value. I mean, the expected value is so poor. You, I've, as I said, you can work at Walmart and make make more, way more money, guaranteed, than trying to win F and M for uh, prize support. So my, they cannot be trusted. They make poor decisions, then they flip flop on the poor decisions. So what is worse is not that they are making bad decisions because sometimes you have to make bad decisions to, okay, now the text message. Looks like it is party time. Oh, I'm buying a, a company right now. So yeah, maybe I'll make a video later. I think this video is coming out Friday. I'm making it Monday, but I think the video is going to come out Friday, which means, hmm. And I'm supposed to buy the company by the 9th, which is this Friday, I believe. But I also have a meeting this Friday. 
So I won't be able, yeah, Friday, Friday night. So they flip flop on everything they do. It's okay to make a bad mistake and then say, all right, we're going to walk this back. But man, I mean, the whole set rotation that they didn't, they didn't even give it a try. Do you realize that? They made all this drama for nothing. They didn't even try out because it might have been worked. These casual f &M, they didn't give it a try. I mean, it's already over. Like, how long did that last? Like, three months? Like, less? I mean, literally, like, when was Fatal Bush promo? <laughs> because that was the last promo, right? And then the whole core set. They said, no more core set. Now core set is back. They said, we hate modern. Now we love modern. It's, uh, frankly, very mind-boggling how fast they walk back a decision without even giving it like data so like i'm very data driven they need to collect at least six months of data before determining hmm, this doesn't work because yes most stuff is not going to work when it begins when you look like elon musk did they think tesla was going to work no the spacex no solar wind farm or solar winds whatever that company is called no but eventually they did work and it was the um, in, intense, intensive process where it took a long time for people to get on the Tesla cars and the SpaceX to get kind of excited about that. And the solar panels, people were still on the edge about that, but relatively excited. You got to try it and you got to try it long enough to collect the data to then make a decision on it. The data initially will always look bad because people don't like change. But sometimes change is what has to happen for survival. Anyway, bye guys.